Hey, happy Monday. It's been a while. I can't believe it's been three weeks already. Welcome to the Seller Size family and program. Tonight we've got quite a bit to go over. We had several questions that came in, some wonderful customer reviews. And for all of you who have your Seller Sizers and are ready, we're going to do a 20-minute advanced weight loss program for anybody who wants to participate. We'll talk a little bit about it. If you're not in an advanced state, I'm going to show you an easier way as we build up. So we'll have myself, Liberty, Carrie, um, all beautiful girls going to be joining me when we do the program. Oh, she rolled her eyes. I saw that. <laughs> okay. And we're going to do our 30-day challenge. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do that. I'd like to know what you would like to accomplish. What we're going to be doing tonight, if you were to do this routine, which is what increased my metabolism so high that I thought there was something wrong. I, I dropped down to 3% body fat. So this is an intense routine. Brooklyn's used it. Um, Liberty's used it. And she doesn't need it, but it keeps you in really good shape. It helps increase circulation in the thighs. It's how women have gotten rid of their cellulite and improved that circulation. Great, great stories. Um, we can also build up the knees, and we can do this at, at any age. We start off with, we're going to have lots of repetitions of the Jamba Run. We'll be doing some of the Jamba Walk, and we'll do a couple different movements interspersed for reasons that I, I will explain when we get when we get ready to go. So, Diane writes, I just wanted to share an update. Several years ago, I injured my shoulder, could barely raise it, and I could not put it behind my back very well to tie an apron. Because of my injury, my bicipital tendon popped out of place. This was the most painful experience. My doctor was able to pop it back into place. I was told I could no longer sleep on that side, which was my preferred side to sleep on. At the time, I was also asking this group for a recommendation for a good support bra. She fit was recommended. Unfortunately, I was not able to get it on by myself two years ago because of my shoulder injury, just too, pain, just too painful to use. Another seller sizer user sent me a link to a video showing how she helped her sore shoulder. It really helped. And then I made some changes for my shoulder issue. As of today, I have pretty much full use of my shoulder. I can tie an apron behind my back again. I can sleep on that side again. I forgot how bad my shoulder bicipital tendon was. The exercises I did on the cellar sizer really helped. I also did one of my Life Pro vibration mat. Yesterday, I pulled out my cellar sizer and started on the 30-day challenge and realized the bras that I've been wearing don't work with the cellar sizer. Ha ha. I happened to order a she fit to try and was able to try it yesterday. And it was amazing for those of us who are willing to out and I can use it without pain in my shoulder. This is all great information. The cellar sizer is amazing. I've had mine for about 12 years now. I don't use it like I should, but now that I have good support and a place to put it where it's always out, I'm excited to get going on it. I just wanted to share that experience in case others were struggling. I really thought I was going to have permanent limited use of my shoulder. Thank you, David Hall, for coming up with this solar sizer. Well, you are most welcome. And thank you, Don, for, for sharing that with the rest of us. And yes, depending on how well endowed you are, you do want to have that support. But there's little protein fibers that actually run through the breast. The G-forces and the weight-bearing activity of the solar sizer can actually create more firmness in the actual breast tissue itself because of those protein fibers. But you don't want to be bouncing up and down and having them break those fibers. You want some support while they build up. Martha writes, I had ACL meniscus repair surgery in 2017. After surgery, my old trampoline caused a lot of pain in my knee. I got rid of it and invested in my cellar sizer. I'm pain free, my knee and whole body for that matter is stronger. My knee is pain-free when I'm on my cellar sizer. I was recently asked to jump on a regular rebounder. It was terrible. It was instantly painful on my knee. Confirmed for me that my cellar sizer is definitely superior. 
Martha, thank you. And I want to comment on that just a little bit. China has inundated the market with lots of cheaper rebounders or mini trampolines. And I have to work with people on a regular basis because when the steel and the spring is weak, it doesn't have the resistance or the lift, you don't get those same results and the, the feet can pronate. Initially, it might be fun, but accumulatively over time, if you are noticing knee problems or ankle problems or back problems while using a different type of unit, you might want to reconsider using it. My dad was permanently disabled in 1995 attempting to do my exercises on a $200 rebounder. That's, it just doesn't offer the same kind of support. So be careful. Thank you, Martha, for sharing that. Your message of health and the cellar sizer has changed my life. Given hope, especially with these new germs, but God has created our body smarter to fight when given the correct tools that aid in becoming stronger. Cellar sizing, thank you. Thank you. Thankful for you and your precious family. All right, Catherine. Well, thanks for being a part of the family and sharing it. Robin writes, wanted to give you my two-year update on using the cellar sizer. First off, I love it. I'm 30 pounds lighter. I've given away all my exercise equipment because the cellar sizer is, it's all you really need. <laughs> I can agree with that. Anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes a day that I bounce and I feel great and look so much better. The added benefit, and I don't understand, is I feel so happy when I'm solar sizing. I feel happy afterwards as well. It's truly addicting. Who doesn't feel, want to feel happy? Money cannot buy happiness. I know I've tried. This thing is truly something special. Sometimes I refer to it as my happy sizer. Thank you, Dave, for perfecting the trampoline. It's worth every penny. Sign me, Happy Robin. That came in August 26. Thank you so much, Robin. Patricia writes, we want to say thanks. We are 72 and 76 and are loving our cellar sizer. We had the posts are laminated for ease of use. We have learned so much from your questions and answer videos. We are stronger and lighter in weight. Well, Patricia and Robert, that's great. And I, I sure, I'm sure glad for you. you know, I just, um, I celebrated my 66th birthday yesterday. And I'm running around, like literally, I'm, I'm still, in, I, I am so grateful for what this thing has done for me. It's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet device where I am. And, you know, we have people starting off in their 70s. Some of them started off in their 70s, they're in their 90s now. And they're still enjoying the quality of life. And that's really what it's all about. Lelana. I don't have any questions at this time, but I wanted to take a moment to thank you and your team for all that you do. You have been a true inspiration to improve my entire well-being. I am forever grateful. I also wanted to say that online videos you have made throughout the years have tremendously helped me stay motivated in my days of weakness. God bless. And God bless you too. You know, if you ever need a pep talk, if you're just not getting the results, you know, we're open 9 to 5. Monday through Friday, not in standard time, and we're here to help support. After all, you didn't invest in the solar sizer to get a solar sizer. You invested in a solar sizer or a good quality unit to get results. And whether you have a solar sizer or another piece of exercise equipment, if I can be of any help, you know, that's, we're all in, we're one great big family, we're all in this together, and let's do what we can to help each other. Enjoy a better quality of life. Okay, lots of questions. Is a cellar size exercise harmful for people who have had knee replacement? Both my knees have replacements. We've had people with knee replacements, double hip replacements, back surgeries, shoulder surgeries. I don't know your particular situation. Consult with your doctor or health practitioner, but the cellar size has less jarring on it than walking on the ground. And if you have an appliance placed in your in your joint area, um, the osteoblastic activity around the appliance itself can get weaker and weaker. So we do need to maintain a good weight-bearing exercise. We want those ligaments and tendons to be strong and healthy. Cellar size gives us the ability to do that without a pounding impact or jarring to the body. So people that have had knee surgeries that have been able to avoid knee surgeries, who have just opted to strengthen up the supporting muscles and ligaments, and believe me, we'll be working on that tonight. 
um, they've, they've enjoyed a better quality of life as a result of it. Eager to watch, perhaps a quick catch up on rehabbing broken bones or inner, any injury. I'm dealing with a broken foot bones as of Sunday. Oh, it brings back memories. I've been there more than once. What I did um, very shortly thereafter, and you can feel the throbbing, but I would hold a foot over the solder sizer if this was the one that I crushed by a forklift. Um, I held it over the side and bounced up and down. And it healed very, very quickly. When I broke my ankle, which is on that side also, I also held it over. And the doctor became one of my customers. It healed very, very quickly. The increase of G-forces or circulation, which is what's happening. The G-forces are weight-bearing, but without putting actual weight on the actual structure itself. So as we increase circulation, we promote, we reduce inflammation, we promote faster healing, and the increase of stress helps to create osteoblastic activity to cause the bones to heal faster and stronger. Again, because of the medical condition, consult with your doctor or health practitioner, and you want to be very careful, um, make sure you have really good support. Hi Dave, I don't use shoes when solar size, and I realize that you need to use the ball of your feet when jumping and not your whole flat foot. Are shoes recommended? I was also wearing them, but I started having massive toe pain on my right foot, and I'm wearing sneakers now while working out. Hope this helps. Well, I, I suggest if you, it takes time for muscles and ligaments around the foot to adapt to your own natural balance and movement. Uh, we're generally more restricted in our movement. We wear shoes, and shoes have limited flexibility. So when we get on exercise and we're challenging the flexibility of our feet to support our alignment, well, those muscles, ligaments, and bones are going to start moving and may not feel real comfortable initially. It can, it can take time. I notice a little kinks that come and go over the years. But wearing some soft-soled slippers can give a little additional support while you're helping to build up those supporting muscles and ligaments. But the, the soles should have flexibility or movement. Anything I can do to help with the menopause layer of belly fat? Yeah. Um, obviously the Jamba Run is helpful. Increasing circulation is also helpful. Now this may seem a little strange, but when we move our fingers over our skin and we're kind of pushing in, we're helping to stimulate that circulation so that we get more oxygen and blood flow to that area so that the body has the ability to access some of that stored fuel and, and burn that off. Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, so losing this weight, I have wrinkles in my neck. Help me show me something for the neck, please. Okay, losing weight, she's got wrinkles in her neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when you're losing weight and you're using a cellar sizer, the collagen in the skin can actually start to firm up while you're losing weight. If you're losing weight and you're not exercising the, the collagen or the skin, then the skin itself, if you've lost weight quickly, can actually sag and more. Um, cellar size can help mitigate that to some degree, but skin is still held in place by collagen. Those are protein fibers. And when you're bouncing up and down, if you are jogging, for example, and you tilt backwards and you take your head and tilt that backwards, all the muscles all around the neck are tightening and toning. It can be helpful. It may, may or may not take care of the problem, but it will, if nothing else, you'll have stronger, healthier wrinkles. But hopefully, Hopefully that collagen, that skin, and that increased circulation can help mitigate that. And we've had customers actually let us know that. They've written us customer reviews. So it's, uh, it, it, it's totally dependent upon the actual individual. All right. Any, anything else, Ricky? I love your cellular sizer and use Mr. Rebounder. There's Mr. Rebounder. We'll use that in a moment. I made a custom program and enjoy it daily. Are you looking at more options such as using bands? The only, re the only thing for the bands that we would use is to help with shoulder um, flexibility and if basically just helping to increase 
the strength and flexibility of shoulders. Beyond that, most of the resistance movements will do it. So I don't believe you need anything else, and I don't use anything else. So I'm just using my own natural resistance on this other side. This is, I'm sure, is a wonderful rebound. However, it's so very painful to get a good workout on a rebounder with spine problems. Does it ever get better? Thank you, blessings, Dana. You know, Dana, not knowing what those issues are, what I can say is that there are movements that we can do to help increase spinal fluid movement. We can help work on muscles and ligaments over time. Um, some of the different movements that you see on this rebounder app, such as lifting the elbow up and tilting to open up the vertebral joints in the back, and just gently bouncing once you feel the stretch, or crossing your foot in front of you, so you can work the lower back, or doing a gentle twist. Those are all designed to help loosen up muscles and increase circulation, as well as build strength. If an issue is really bothering you, and you want more immediate relief, then the technique, I think we showed it the last, in the last program, where you lie down on the cellarizer and somebody else bounces you so it takes vertical pressure off, off the disc and off the nerves, the muscles can relax. And then somebody gently bounces you up and down. Look for that, because that is an absolute phenomenal um, technique. I designed it over 20 years ago. It's helped, I can't even tell you how many people. Because again, the nerves don't feel threatened when you're laying down vertically, so the muscles can relax. The so moving up and down is not a surface massage, it's a deep massage. I believe I have come up with what created my downward spiral for 10 plus years a very severe psoas muscle due to a bad fall. Full blown scoliosis was the diagnosis within nine months when my right rib cage was sitting on my right hip bone. No surgery for me. NSA was a godsend. I stand up again, but many bodily systems are not working. Any recommendations? I'm going for my first evaluation with visceral manipulation, facial therapist, and possibly cranial sacral therapy on Wednesday. What might I do on the cellar sizer? Well, check with your doctor, but this, these movements right here are, are, are <laughs> I don't know how to get them any other way. Um, but standing on the cellar sizer, gently moving up and down to warm up the tissue, rocking side to side, take your shoulders and lift them up and down to help massage the tension in the back, doing the gentle twist, helps to loosen up those muscles even more. For the psoas muscle, if you're leaning a little bit to the left and, and you're gently bouncing up and down, if you take that right foot, cross it in front of the left foot, often you can feel that stretch and then do the same thing on the other side. Um, those movements, that's what I've done, and it's made a huge difference for me. I think it can help, help you too. How long should we exercise on it if we're wanting to build muscle and are interested in bodybuilding? What's the best way to build and maintain muscle? Can we use some weights for arms? What would you recommend? I, I have workouts you have for arms, but maybe I need to add them to a twice daily regimen to see results. Or would you recommend daily? It's a little confusing from the traditional bodybuilding world. They recommend one area of the body per day. So as is that how you would recommend also? Let me, lots of questions here. Let me answer some of those first. I don't do bodybuilding. It's more of a sport. We're the only species in the world that does it. It's basically a manipulation of the body. And although it can work, it really is a sport activity. If you have time to do it. When you tear down to build up, they say do it every other day. Work a different part of the body because the body literally has to heal itself. If you cellar size, and we found this out through research that was done by Dr. Larry, um, Larry, Larry H, Larry, PhD, and uh, out of Seattle, Larry H. Getman, Larry Getman, who did a program or some research that showed that if you jog or solar size for 30 seconds between a weight station program, you could grow in your results up to 26% faster. You might want to watch our DVD because that was a bodybuilder who literally would do his, his repetitions, his, his weight training, and he would do his solar sizing and would get rid of the lactic acid, increase oxygen, blood flow to the tissue, help promote faster healing, less swelling, and greater strength because you're strong when you get off. 
of the solar size anyway. And he won three championships, big championships, uh, incorporating the solar sizer with this program. He's on our video, Solar Size, the Ultimate Exercise. And many of you have the ability to either downloaded it or you have that. So, um, but yeah, I do it every day. So, it's because you're not tearing down to build up. Solar size is very different than the traditional exercise. He says, I've seen some results from this in a plant-based diet. I just want to build muscle and see how athletic my body can get at this point in my life. If you want to get athletic, a solar sizer can make you extremely athletic. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you for making such a fun way to exercise and never dread the workout on the solar sizer. I think that makes a whole point and something I would, will adhere to no matter what. Mostly it's made it such a positive atmosphere in our family. Oh, I hear that guys. Anyone can jump anytime and just feel great and happy. We use it for anything quickly if we need to get any sore muscles or a tight lower back or any pain in the body right away. I even had a headache yesterday. I jumped for a few minutes and I felt muscles across the top of my head while jumping and then it slowly went away, noticeably subsiding in a few minutes. It's seriously amazing and has made me more aware of my body and how wonderful it can be to have a machine that can fix so many things instantly and on the go as well. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication, David Hall. I will continue to tell everyone I talk to about this discovery, Kelsey. Thank you, Kelsey. That was beautiful. And she says something that I, I and I'm going to appeal to many of you. With China hitting the market with all these huge units, it's definitely made an impact on us. Most of our business right now is coming through word of mouth. If you feel good about the solar sizer and you feel good about me and the company and you feel good about our message, it would be really helpful to us if you would share that with other people at this time. I believe every household should have a solar sizer. I believe it can last for many, many years and improve the overall quality of life. But if we can't get the message out to the public, um, it's it doesn't work as well. Unfortunately, our website, and I don't, I may have mentioned it last time, it was hacked or a bunch of links, bad links, were attached to our website and it dropped us in our ranking. So people are even having a hard time even finding us now. It's literally through word of mouth that um, that we're going moving forward right now so we rebuild our, our position out there. I don't get the Jamba run at all. Are you supposed to be on your toes with your heels lifting every time you press down? I wish he could not keep black socks on every time he shows the exercises. Can't see his feet. And indeed, I, <laughs> I totally get it. And yes, I thank you. Um, and I appreciate the reminders. And I'm getting better at it. Okay, so she's asking about the Jamba run. We want to keep our feet flat. When we keep our feet flat, we bend at the knee. It keeps the weight right over the biggest muscles of the body. That's what we want to work. If we get up on the balls of our feet, we put more weight on our back, which isn't doing any work. It's just holding us up. So when we tilt backwards, these muscles, it's like, it's like overdrive. You, know, you kick them into full gear, and when you're flat-footed and pushing down, you're kind of sitting back a little bit toward your heel, and you're really going to feel it on the thighs and the, and, and the knees. It'll build them up. Um, so to answer the question, yeah, flat-footed is, is the best. Hi, Dave. Love this and hope to get better at it. Unfortunately, I'm just not able to do the ski patrol moves. My feet simply don't jump in coordination like that. Do you have any tips on how to begin doing them? Bye. <laughs> yes. And yes. And I, it's not unusual, by the way. Um, it took me time to figure it out. And it just kind of happened naturally. You don't really have to work hard at it. As you continue, here's, I want to talk about this for a minute. I think I mentioned last time, you got dynamic balance and static balance. Cellar size isn't just static. You've got a movement in the bar, you've got movement in the unit, so your body is having to regulate its own balance. That's a huge difference than something you'd be held on to and was rigid, because then you become dependent upon that for your balance. I want your muscles to be at play, all of them, and, and that's what cellar size does. So your dynamic balance is gonna get better. As it gets better naturally because of movement, then your movement will also naturally get better 
and more bent. So starting off with just the hip rock side to side is great. If your hips are dropping to the mat, then you can take your one foot and cross in front of your other if you want. And then you can do the same thing the other way. Just cross in front. And then eventually you can cross both of them back and forth. And then eventually you just bend the knee and you just, you just, it just graduates. So you want to start off, just have fun on it. It'll work on you. You play on it, it works on you. After jumping on the subtle size of my back had pain and sharp spasms, what am I doing wrong? Probably exposing weaknesses, but I don't know what you're doing on the solar sizer, so I, I don't know how to answer that. But call me, call me during the during the week, and let me let me know what movements you're doing. Because if you do something too intense initially, we don't know how much space we have between the vertebral joints and the disc, and that's where the nerves come out. And if we irritate a nerve, those muscles are going to tighten up to help protect the nerve, and that's probably what you're talking about. So we want to start off more gentle. With, with gentle movements. Just side to side is good, the gentle twist is good. Doing movements again will work. Um, doing it, doing gentle, I wouldn't do any kick outs or doing anything that might irritate a nerve or certainly don't jump high. Number one, people say that all the time. Can't jump high on it. Well, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't, height of the unit really makes little difference. When you jump high, you're just floating. Your body's not working, it's just floating. And we want the body flexing because that's what's pumping the lymph system. Every time you move up and down, all these millions of one-way valves open and shut. Every time you move up and down, the cells are flexing, it's much more intense. So for exercise purposes, staying closer to the mat is gonna give you more benefit than just jumping up high, which is fun. I mean, if you wanna jump high, it's fine. But but just know that it's for fitness purposes, for getting healthier and stronger. We want to stay closer than that. Okay. Hello, Mr. Hall. I remember you mentioning a while back that you like to drink distilled water. Can you please tell us more about this and why you chose this type of water? Sure. Um, I don't know what kind of chemicals are in the water when it comes into the tap. I know we've got fluoride and we've got chlorine, we've got <clears throat> who knows what other things that can, can get into that water. The natural minerals are often removed to some degree when it's processed. So they can process the water and there's a reason for that because they, want, <laughs> they don't want us getting cryptosporidiosis or giardia or some of these other things that can get in the water that can be very damaging to the immune system now and long term. So I use a distiller. That's just what I like to do. After it's distilled, though, it's not balanced anymore. So I'll take some ionic minerals, electrolytes, they're liquid, and I just squirt them into the water. Just get a little squirt, help balance water back up. I've been doing it for years, and I think it's, uh, those ionic minerals are very important for other reasons, which we will be talking more about in the near future. But um, that's, that's why I do it. <clears throat> Can you oil the cellar size with WD-40? I made a huge mess with three-in-one oil. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you three-in-one oil, you always want to do it outside, not, not in the house. Um, WD-40 is messy because if you're using it as a spray, you can get it on the actual spring, the coils of the spring itself. If you get oil on the coils, they can become squeaky. Prior to that, they're not. The coils themselves don't squeak. It's, on, it's where the, the two ends of the springs rub against steel. Hi, David. I just started rebounding regularly every day, two or three times a day. Light, health, bounce, and stretches. About six weeks ago, I have had one for 30 years, but never used it regularly or knew what to do with it. I started watching all your YouTube videos and gotten re-inspired. I've had chronic fatigue syndrome for over 30 plus years that has been disabling. After I started rebounding, my energy was great for the first couple of weeks. It was like a miracle, but now for the last week or two, I've had extreme fatigue that is completely debilitating again. I asked what kind of sellers or what kind of rebound are you using? Um, because that can make a difference. A rebounder that has a dead jarring effect at the bottom of the bounce can cause stress or tension restricting circulation and you don't want that. You want to release the stress and tension, open up the circulation. So that would be my first question. It says, I still get on at least morning and night for five to 10 minutes no matter what. I always feel better but still have fatigue. What can I? Or should I do? Is my body going through detox or healing phases? 
I really couldn't find any videos on chronic fatigue. I also haven't seen any improvement in fat or flap. I'm skinny fat and or my severe elbow and hand pain. Any help or suggestions would be greatly appreciated. I seriously want to keep doing this for life, but I also want to see more results. I'm not giving up, so please help. Thank you for everything you do. And thank you for asking the question. Um, there's several things in here. Yes, a detox could definitely be incurred. Um, we don't know what's causing it. Consult with a doctor, a health practitioner, whether it's viral or thyroid or, or what might be involved in the overall process. But we do know, at least with the cellular sizer, is that you're a weightless weight, weightless weight, over 100 times a minute. So even the thyroid is expanding, contracting. Um, the adrenals, the adrenals are expanding and contracting over 100 times a minute. That gentle twisting motion can help massage the adrenals as, as well. So, um, and then look at, take a look at some of our customer reviews at sellersize.com forward slash reviews. And if you look at those, you'll see some people that have had issues similar and what they've done to help overcome. Is there a move that I can help heal my rotator cuff? Also, I have T2 diabetes, type 2 diabetes with solar, will the solar sizer help? I've had the solar sizer for one and a half months now and haven't noticed a difference. Is there a specific move that will help? Thanks. And yes, um, that, the movement up and down is going to increase circulation. The gentle twisting itself can help stimulate or massage the pancreas. Running in place and, and doing a, an exercise routine can help balance blood sugars levels. If you go to Cellar Sizer, with an R at the end, Cellar Sizer Diabetes Help, H E L P dot com, you'll see a website and be able to read some of the uh, reviews that people with diabetes have had while using the Cellar Sizer. I want to say that my cousin, Bri Bridget Denise Smith from Greenville, <clears throat> MS got diagnosed with diabetes on January 20, 22nd. Her blood sugar register, okay, here's an answer. Her blood sugar registered at 347 one day after she had gotten the meds and started getting used to testing regularly and taking her medication. Brooklyn, you'll be interested in this too because I've, had, I've heard this many times. She tested her blood sugar level at 347. I suggested that we find out just how effective the 10 minute routine is all by itself for lowering blood sugar. So she did not take her medicine or eat anything special or anything at all actually. She did the 10 minute routine as vigorous as she could stand. Consult with your doctor on this. We can't give the medical recommendation on it, but I want you to listen to this. Upon completing the 10 minute workout, I immediately set a timer for 30 minutes. My logic told me that we should give the body time to recover so that the blood sugar will have time to be absorbed into all those cells that have just been depleted of glucose and were in need of replenishment. So we waited and tested her blood sugar exactly 40 minutes after the start of the routine, which was just minutes after the first test of 347. Her blood sugar dropped from 347 all the way down to 170 from performing a 10 minute cellular size routine by itself. No meds, no diet. So my question is, what are a few of your other testimonials over the years that you've gotten from other diabetics in regard to using the cellular size as a tremendous way to boost sugar absorption to the cells and decreasing insulin resistance? What are some of your best examples? Do you have anyone who testified to reversing the type of diabetes entirely and being able to come off medication in favor of a healthy lifestyle? Um, Dr. Robert Young wrote about me in his book. Oh, what was it called? It was on diabetes, uh, cellular size of diabetes. And he had some great stories in there. I had a son-in-law who has great stories himself. And you can read more of them on our, on our website. Cellular size of diabetes help.com. I have another friend who is named Alvin who had some sort of inner ear vestibular problem that affects his balance. I have explained what I think to be the benefits of using a cellular sizer to challenge the entire physiological function of balance as a whole operating system and that it will place 
the stress of acceleration, deceleration, and g-forces upon the vestibular sensory apparatus inside the ear to fortify itself to become stronger, as if it has gone through a strength training session by itself. There are crystals in the ear, and the movement up and down can help balance those crystals as well as challenge vestibular balance. Um, there's fluid up and down past the stirrup, the smallest bone of our ear, and our proprioceptor. All of that is being involved in the solar session. Now, none of us are born with balance. It's a physiological function. We have to challenge it to get it. We have to challenge it to maintain it. We have to challenge it to get it back. Solar size will challenge our, our balance dramatically because it's constantly moving that fluid and challenging up to 90% of brain activity. It says, but I've been unable to convince my husband to try. He is approximately 65 years old. I'm wondering if you have any test moments for customers that could give my friend reason, meaning, and hope to give this solar size an honest shot. Can you provide anything to increase the possible likelihood of my friend to try this solar sizer? Um, watch the video. Best thing to do, in fact, if you go to solarsize.com forward slash video, I did a presentation with, um, it's in the, the Randy Alvarez. It's really good. It's a good presentation. And it kind of talks more about the benefits. We're both in a suit and tie, but we went through the principles and that might be very helpful for him. Also, another dear friend of mine is 85 years old and has been using a walker for many years. I would like to hear a story or two from someone who started late in life on the solar sizer and the degree of increase in balance and independent mobility without continued reliance upon walkers or wheelchairs. Look at, didn't I do that last time? First time to talk about the lady in the walker? Yeah, look at our last program because the lady in the walker is a great story and she's not the only one. We've had several like that. There are things that we can do to help strengthen the sporting muscle ligaments around the hips as well as um, improving balance. Okay, and that's it. Thank you. Wow, that's great, guys. That's what we want. I hope we shared something that has meaning either to you or to somebody that you care about. We have some questions. We do have some questions. Okay, we're gonna have some more questions. And I, that's why I'm here, I'm here for you. Not, it's not my agenda, it's your agenda, so. Go ahead, Bridget. I've been suffering with tinnitus ringing of the ears. Can you tell us if there's anything a solar sensor could help with this? Yeah, we talked a little bit about that. Um, it's, I've known people who have, and we talked a little bit of this last time too, um, done massaging underneath the the, uh, the skull right where it attaches to the, um, the the atlas to help open up. In fact, in the last program, I did answer that. So again, go go look at the last program. I, I talked about some of the cranial massage and the movement up and down as we're moving through it, opening up that circulation and the effects that that has had for for people as well. Any other spooky? Um, after using the cellar sizer every day for 10 to 15 minutes, my L3 vertebrae dislocated. I'm guessing my form or posture was off. Is there something I can do it do to fix this so that it doesn't happen again? Yeah, I wouldn't do any kick outs. I don't know what movements you're doing, but again, lying down on the cellar sizer takes all the vertical pressure off, gentle rocking side to side, can help everything loosen up so it can move back into position. Um, we work a lot with chiropractors. Chiropractors make an adjustment, but often the muscles are not used to the new alignment, and so they're the culprit. And they, when the muscle or when the nerves are are um, irritated or threatened, you've got a subluxation, whatever occurs there, the muscles can tighten up trying to protect that area, and that knocks up, and that that's very uncomfortable. So releasing that stress and tension is very important. Working with a chiropractor can help tremendously, and then when you're done with the chiropractor. Um, and again, consult with your doctor, but one of the things that I teach chiropractors is how to get on the solar sizer and cause those muscles to flex around the new alignment without pulling them out of alignment. So as we're gently moving up and down, you weight this weight, weight this weight, and that can expedite that healing process. Um, can I use the solar sizer when pregnant? I'm four months now. Yeah, if you've been active, um, again, I've got to say consult with your doctor. But um, my wife was active until her last, I mean, well into her last trimester. And then I would lie her down on the solar sizer and gently bounce up her up and down. And, and it's, it's just a great technique for, I think the baby loved it as well as her. Um, but yes, we've had people that have exercised 
through most all of their their pregnancy and for the very very end she would actually help support herself and felt comfortable just doing a gentle movement and you stop to think and that uh, many of you have met her this jenna she's on our on our website she's a very smart bright lady girl daughter <laughs> but that um my wife had like a five ten minute delivery it was everything worked everything was flexible everything had good circulation everything responded very very quickly um we've had that and we've had customer reviews on that as well so again cellar size is very easy it's not like it going out and pounding or hitting off the surface but not knowing your condition is important to check with your dog to find out what kind of activities you can do that would be safe for your situation. How about Bricky? Um, where can I buy a mat such as the one you have under your solar sizer? Oh, we have them online. Just go to our, our website. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got, I mean, they're, they're, they're good quality. They're high quality. They're not cheap. <laughs> but they, I mean, they really hold up, they clean up well. So it's, um, yeah, take a look on our website. We have, we've got a few in stock. Uh, what movements can I do for a torn rotator cuff? Yeah, rotator cuff. When, when it's recent, if it's bad, you can actually help support it with your other hand and then just gently bounce up and down. You can take your fingertips and feel those muscles dramatically being massaged. That's not light, I mean, it's huge. It's, it's, that massaging technique can help reduce inflammation, increase flexibility, and then we can do things such as lifting our elbow up over our head, and if you need some support, go ahead and support it with your, with your hand, out to the side, and then front again, and you just do these movements. And you just hold this movement for a few moments, and hold this movement for a few moments, and then the same thing. Over time, it just seems to open up from, from many of us, that whole rotator cuff. Anything else? Um, what is a good routine for uh, hiatal hernia? <sighs> okay. Um, that helping to tighten those muscles um, in that area and then gently bouncing can be helpful. Um, we've had people that, that, that offers relief sitting on the cellar sizer, sitting down a little bit, and tilting backwards slightly, gently moving up and down so you don't have just vertical pressure, you leaning back a little bit, that can help that area as well. Um, but again, listen to your body. Those, those are some really ineffective movements. Um, what can I do for TMJ? That's temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. It's in your jaw. Yeah, this movement here when you're moving up and down, massaging these muscles while you're gently bouncing. See, the bouncing causes you to be weightless weight, weightless, so it's causing the tissue to automatically expand and contract. The gentle massaging <clears throat> is helping to reduce some of the stress and tension in that area and increase circulation. And releasing that stress, that tension, and increasing that circulation can be very helpful. Um, so we just want to, like a little rag doll, just let it go. Just really relax. That's that it? all. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Come on, girls. All right, guys. <clears throat> you got your cellar sizer. Thank you for those who have stayed with us. I know that was a long session. Right now. We're going to do a 20 minute session and then Christine, who posts is hi Christine, <laughs> um, we might be able to get her to, uh, to section this next part out so that we have reference to it in the program, but we also have it separate. So you don't have to go through a whole program and find out where this particular routine is. But again, this is, a <clears throat> this is one that I created today on our Mr. Rebounder app. I call it the, the fat eradicator. And if you, re <laughs> I don't need to lose the weight. So I'm gonna be doing this with, um, <clears throat> and then eating a great big meal. But this one here, 
it's using the biggest muscles of the body. So we're going to be doing a lot of the Jamba run. But if you're just starting off and you're not comfortable with that, or we get too many of the Jamba runs, that's okay. Just do the Jamba walk. Go easy. It's still very effective. You've still got all your weight on the thighs and these muscles. And one of the things that we want to do is build up the circulation in the muscles so that, that we're able to do that. This kid right next to me is absolutely amazing. She's incredibly athletic and sorry, but I, it, she just, she grew up on the solar sizer and she, she will probably make, smoke me on this, but, um, but, <laughs> but yeah, just go easy. Just go gentle and then, or just rock side to side. That's gentle too. I want you to have a good experience. If you feel like it's getting to be too much, listen to your body. Just gently, just go gentle. The purpose of this, however, is for those people who want a routine that's going to help them burn weight and increase metabolism. Diet has a lot to do with it. Toscarino just sent us over a beautiful little menu. And, and I want to talk, she has been a colleague of mine out in the health and fitness industry. And, and she is an expert on diets. She is an expert and she's agreed to send us some, some recipes. I'm going to talk a little bit more about her. I wasn't able to get what she sent me printed in time for this particular program, but we are going to put it online and, we'll put, and a little information about Tosca online afterwards. But she's really been a godsend to a great many people. And she, like me, cares uh, about the people that she works with. And so I'm, I am very confident in recommending her, um, just like I, I've recommended Sally and Stephanie too because of the great work that they are doing. Just be careful at what you, don't go beyond your comfort level to begin with. We want you to have a good experience. So with that said, we're going to go through and 20 minutes we'll be doing a baby health pound for a minute, hip rock for a minute. The reason being, we do the baby bounce, warm up the tissue, get the circulation going. We do the hip rock, so we further um, work the circulation. And then we're going to do power breathing. The power breathing is to increase oxygen into the bloodstream. We need oxygen to burn calories and utilize nutrients. So we want to burn off that fill. We need to have, maintain good oxygen in the body. And it helps us avoid that lactic acid as well. We're going to do Jamba Run for a minute. We'll do the health bounce for 45 seconds. When we're doing the health bounce, I want you to breathe. We want oxygen. The oxygen alone can increase metabolism. We want to get that oxygen into the cells so the body's going to work better. We're going to do another Jamba Run for a minute. Health bounce, 45 seconds. Jamba Run for a minute. Hip rock um, for 45 seconds. Now, the hip rock is simply helping increase that oxygen making sure that we're pumping that oxygen to all these different areas of the body so it's going to be more effective. The cells, again, need oxygen to burn the calories. So we'll do another Jamba Run. We'll do power breathing for eight seconds. We'll do the baby health bounce for 30 seconds. Then we'll do the Jamba Run again for a minute, and we'll do the twist for 45 seconds. You see what we're doing? We're graduating. We're helping to increase that oxygen blood flow and get access to any stored fuel. Original, initially, we're going to be eating up the glucose and the sugars that are in the bloodstream, the most readily available energy source in the body. After we've used those up and we continue to do the repetition, the body still has great demand for fuel. These muscles are the biggest engines, so we're going to be harnessing those engines for the purpose of burning that fuel. So then we'll do the hip rock and we'll do the jamba run again. We'll do the baby health bounce for 30 seconds, the jamba walk. So now in the jamba walk, when our legs are feeling a little weaker, I want you to really kind of push down into the mat. You're going to be rocking a little bit and pushing um, down into that. You should feel that. Um, we'll do the baby health bounce, and then we'll do the jamba walk again. Again, we're pushing down. Then we're going to do the twist, and then we're going to do the jamba run for a minute. And then we're going to go from the jamba run to a moderate spread. Okay, that is your legs. By the, be careful. <laughs> if you can't do that, just, just stay closer to the mat. Then we'll do the baby health bounce for a minute. That's the routine. 
You know why we're going to do it that way? And again, if you really want to burn a lot of fuel once this 20 minute routine is done, do it again. You'll build up to it. But um, <clears throat> that's what that's what Brooklyn was doing, and she has lost quite a bit of weight from that. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on our mis the, the monitor for the mystery about that because that we have a standalone monitor you can put on any mini trampoline. And when you, you press the button, up button on the standalone monitor, it comes on. It's got an intensity meter. It shows you the total amount of time, the number of bounces, and the calories burned. So anybody can use that. We also have, for the Miss Rebounder app, we've got our wireless module. And the wireless module, for those who haven't seen it, is it just has a little clip. <clears throat> it's got a built-in oscillator. It actually measures deflection. It's not just a calorie. It can measure intensity. And that can measure of intensity on this, which in this has the same thing. We have patent pending on it. Um, because it can measure the intensity, it can, has an algorithm that can tell you the number of calories you're actually burning. And so it will show you the number of calories burned as well. So I'm going to go, if you look at the uh, screen up there, I'm going to go to the home. And go up to that little hamburger thing up there. I'm going to go to settings and you'll see it says connect Bluetooth device right up there at the bottom. So I'm going to hit that little button and when I hit that little button the little red light turns to green. I'm going to put it on the unit. Just, you, know, you can just push the button while it's on the unit. You don't have to take it off. And then I'm going to hit connect. It's now connected. And I'm going to go back now to our workouts, pick our workout. Everybody ready? All right. I'm going to um, drag that over. And I'm going to turn on some music. Hey guys, can you see? Yeah. All right, so we're warming up. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't breathe. The whole purpose of this right here warm up the tissue, open up the circulation. This is what I encourage athletes to do before they ever stretch or do um, some kind of an event, because it really gets to everything. Five, four, three, okay, and then we're gonna do the hip rock. So on the hip rock, if you lift those shoulders up and down, you're pumping the circulation in the lymph system. You're working all the internal organs in the uh, abdominal areas as well. So. If you're pushing down with the heel of your foot a little bit into the mat, you're helping to really elongate the spine and get some of that hip movement too. Okay, <clears throat> hmm. five. First jumbo run. Oh, the power breathing. Down the run. You want to know how much you're working, just feel the top of your thigh. If they're not burning yet, they will be soon. And that burn becomes one of your best friends on this Hydra because you know you're burning fuel when you do that. 
So depending on how much fuel you want to burn, depends on how many times you want to do this. So you're pushing down into the mat. Think of your heels pushing down. If you think of your heels pushing down, you'll stay more flat-footed and you'll keep your weight over your thighs. And if it's too easy for you guys, we'll go ahead and lift your feet up. So. All right. Breathe deep. We want to get oxygen. I sure like it when electronics work. Thank you, Brooklyn. All right, you ready? <clears throat> Time to run. So, Carrie, you feel anything yet? Oh, I didn't put your thumbs bar on for you. That's not good. We can switch. Yeah, you need a balance bar on this one to help. Yeah, I can switch it. <clears throat> I left that like that on purpose. I was going to show you how to put a push pin in if you needed to replace one and then put it on the unit. So, okay, you keep going. I'm going to trade places with you and I'm going to just come on over here and keep working. Okay. So if you ever need a good place to push pin, that's how it goes. Better? Yeah. Okay, you'll notice we've got the streamlined balance bars. We also have the half full balance bar, which gives us a little more to hold on to. Okay, let's go at it again. I feel like I have to catch up to you. You can see that intensity meter on the app really go up. That little sidebar that measures the intensity, the calories burned, and the number of bounces, that, um, that's part of the wireless module option that you can add to the Mr. Rebounder app. We have that on our website too. What's neat about it is that if you're watching a television program, um, it'll ding in between each movement, but it'll count the number of bounces. So if you want to go beyond it, you say, hey, I want to reach 5,000 bounces. So you can keep going. Okay, hip rock. Breathe. I want to get that oxygen. The other reason we do this is when we do the jamba run, we pull a lot of blood and circulation right into the thighs. When we're done, the reason we're doing it as long as we are is so we can help pump some of that blood and that circulation back up to the heart so that we're getting this back and forth which is allowing the body to recover more effectively. Jamarun. I have a question. Answer. 
So if you go through like the job on all of it without taking like the breaks and the baby passes, is it less effective? Well, you can give sore more lactic acid a lot because you really need to get oxygen and blood flow back to the thighs. Mm -hmm. So we do repetition so that we have time to get that circulation back to us. Because the body has to go and find more fuel. Release it. After a while, believe me, you begin to love it. It's like, wow, I love this feeling. It can become addicting. Get all the hormones you lose. Yes. Yeah. Good breathe. Okay, baby mouse, we're getting that oxygen now. We're moving it. We want to lift our heels up and down. So we pump the calf muscle. The calf muscle helps to move that circulation from the lower extremities, making it easier on the heart. All right, jump around. Feeling it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always try to get her to do things. <laughs> <laughs> so you're new to soft Yeah. Yeah, so you take it easy, be careful. You do this for a month, <laughs> the knees can get very, very strong. Running up and down stairs becomes easier. Or hiking, or any athletic event. Thank you, Berkey. Mm -hmm. She's very good at doing this too. Jump and run. And if it's tough, remember, just a jumbo walk or the hip rock. Five. This one is the one that generates the most heat. We're over halfway done. Jump run. So I won't be 
you do the kicks? Well, because that's more calisthenic. What's that? Well, um, that's more for targeting muscle groups in those areas, the muscles. This is aerobic. The whole thing's aerobic, but this is for intensity. Ten. Five. Breathe. Doing this with the app is so much better for me than trying to do it alone. Okay, combo walk. You're pushing down. Try to stay in a seated position. That was 45 seconds. Kind of pumping with those calf muscles to feed that circulation to the thighs. Yeah, I can feel it. The calf. Good. Okay, we've done 3,000 bounces and jumbo walk. If it's too easy, you can sit down a little further. Should be feeling good. And once you get to this point, if you've been able to keep up with it, you should feel more energy as if you, if you wanted to keep going, you could. Tell them to run.
30 seconds. After this one, we're going to do a moderate sprint. So if your legs are like jelly, just do the hip rock. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Go easy. <laughs> Baby bounce. You did it. Okay. You want to burn a lot of calories. That is the way we know it burns a lot of calories. How do you feel? Yeah. Good work out? Yeah. Can you do it again? Yeah, see? She probably could. How do you do? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right. We're helping to rebalance the body now with soul homeostasis. Breathe deep. Start to relax. There you go. The Fat Eradicator, it is on our Mr. Rebounder app. We burned 275 calories, so if we did that twice, we'd be burning 500 calories. We did 3,900 3, now <laughs> steps. So, um, good job, guys. And you've got, you've got the formula now. If that's what you want to do, if you really intensely want to go after it, that will go after. Thank you. Um, let us know your comments, your thoughts. And I look forward to seeing you again in a couple weeks. Please write in what you'd like to have happen in, in a 30-day challenge. In the interim, for those of you who want, do this one for 30 days. And then let us know how the inches are working out for you. Thank you. Blessings. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you in a couple weeks.